I am Ute Valentin and I am representing two organizations from Germany and the European one for Osteogenesis Imperfecta. Osteogenesis or OI means brittle bone disease. OI is a rare genetic disorder of the connective tissue. It's not only the bones that are very fragile, but it's the whole tissue. It's a collagen disorder. Many of us suffer from other symptoms as well, like, like short stature, we, we bruise easily, our, our um, muscle tones is, is lower than normal. I inherited OI from my mom. When I was a small child, I started fracturing with about two years only. At that time, my OI was diagnosed. In my mom's case, many years ago, it was diagnosed upon birth because she had a fracture right after birth. I grew up as a normal child, more or less. The only problem I had was that I had to be very, very careful. My mom overprotected me and I was not allowed to do sports. I wasn't allowed to run. I had to be very careful all the time. And of course, I was quite often suddenly uh, taken out of my normal life. When it was a fracture, I had to stay in hosp hospital for long times, in traction sometimes, so I couldn't move at all. So far, my, my life has been quite normal. I, I had quite a lot of surgeries, of course. I have a lot of back pain now. I had a hip replacement after, after my 40th birthday already. And I, I often have pain in my feet or in my legs, bone pain sometimes. There's, of course, no cure for OI. There are several forms of treatment. Small children who have very deformed arms or legs they get, get rods into the long bones, so they are operated to, to straighten the legs and to stabilize them. And of course, in countries with a poor medical system, with a poor health system, that's not, imp not possible, or it's very expensive to have such surgeries. Many of us get a medical treatment with bisphosphonates. In most cases, that helps a lot, but we never know if there will be any side effects or long-term effects of that treatment. It depends in which country you are born. If you have a quite normal life, if you get a wheelchair, sometimes an electric wheelchair, in many cases the wheelchair has to be very small because the size of the person is quite small. If you live in a country without all that, those benefits, you are rather in a bad position. Some, some children with OI are not able to attend school. The parents don't know how to help them in case of fractures. The way to the next hospital is quite long. So you are really, really happy if you are born in a country where that's no problem.